I say things the way they are. That's how I was raised. I was raised to call a spade by its name. Some people would dance around issues, you know, in order to be politically correct. I hate political correctness. So I go straight and I say it exactly as it needs to be said. Loretta Onochie, social media aide to President Muhammad Buhari, is arguably Buhari's most controversial political appointee. Onoche rose to fame in 2017 when she controversially declared that President Buhari is a private citizen and was under no obligation to expose his health status to Nigerians. President Buhari, as a person, deserves privacy. It is up to him whether he will want to, uh, to uh, give his uh, uh, medical records to Nigerians. It's not up to anybody to try to bully him to do that. Since the incident, Onoche has continued to take social media by storm with her tweets. Onoche, who enjoys a massive social media following of 60,000 followers, has garnered mixed reactions with her social media presence. In March 2019, two civil society organizations, Enough is Enough and Paradigm Initiative, sued Onoche for breach of Nigeria's Cybercrime Act 2015 through her use of hate speech on social media. The Christian Association in Nigeria, June 2018, also called on President Buhari to restrain Onoche from the use of vulgar abuse and unprintable names against others with absolute recklessness. Loretta Onoche, who was previously based in the United Kingdom, was a lecturer at the Epping Forest College and a consultant at Africa First before her appointment as a media aide. A few weeks into the administration, they had begun to make all that noise. And I felt, oh, this was a new administration. You needed to be patient. You needed to see the direction. You needed to see where it was headed. But they began to make all the noise and make all the noise. They wanted magic. And then I said, uh oh, why are they wailing like whaler? Femi Adishina is President Buhari's special assistant on media and publicity. Additional, who enjoys an impressive social media following of 120,000, came under fire in 2015 when he referred to Nigerians who opposed President Buhari as wailing whalers. In 2016, Adishina was also the subject of considerable controversy for allegedly receiving 50 million naira in an arms deal from the embattled former National Security Advisor to Good Luck Jonathan Sambo Dasuki. Adishina is held as a credible source for information relating to the President and is no stranger to tabloid headlines for defending the actions of the President. Before Adishina's appointment, he was a journalist for 29 years and worked for prominent news outfits, including Vanguard newspapers, and was editor-in-chief of the Sun newspaper. It's clear that election after election, Nigerians are reposing their confidence in the Buhari Oshibanju presidency. Garaba Shewu is a senior special assistant on media and publicity to President Buhari. Shewu has a large social media following of 682,000, is official spokesperson for Buhari and is a credible source of information regarding Buhari's official assignment. In January 2019, Shewu came under fire when he was quoted as saying that Nigeria's security forces are ready to confront any attempt to interfere with the nation's activities, whether within or from outside the country. For many, Garaba's statement was interpreted as a threat against the USA, UK and the EU if they interfere with Nigeria's affairs. Before Garaba Shewu's appointment, he was the president of the Nigerian Guild of Editors for 16 years. As President Mohamed Buhari prepares to resume his second term in office on May 29, it remains unclear whether these three powerful aides will be reappointed. Roots TV Nigeria.